Hi everyone, recently I got a comment that I could make a video of blending. However, I am still in the phase of kinda learning more in the world of digital arts. I thought I can share what I already learned. Hopefully fresh beginners will find it useful anyway. So you have to know that this video has been made for real beginners who just started studying digital painting or they have some problems with blending. So, if you are already familiar with painting digitally, this video is may not for you. This is also a quick tutorial, a more serious video in this subject may come later. However, you can see Photoshop CC in my video, the technique can be used in any kind of painter programs. Just make sure you know the hotkey for picking color in your favorite software. I show how to make sensible blending by making an orb. In the first step, you just give the basic shape using the mid color of the whole orb. Make a new layer and then use a round basic hard edge brush. It's best to use a totally opaque base to define the shape and the background's color won't bother us later. Let's choose a color now for the darker tones and another one for the bright ones. In this stage you should be creative, don't use only the basic colors, brighter and, brighter and darker shades because that's not realistic or pleasant. Because the surroundings always affect the foreground and may produce very intense colors, we should practice that now with choosing an extreme color too. Let's use the picked colors, but leave the extreme one for now. If some of those are not dark or bright enough or it has some other problems, just change it. You can experiment with your brush settings as well, I stay with the basic, hard-edged, rounded brush with transparency, but I turn off the shape dynamics. Change the size of your brush if it's necessary using the brush palette. You don't have to be precise at this step. It's enough to paint those basic colors where they belong, so you have a basic shape. On the edge this shape is getting darker, in the middle it's brighter and on its bottom the shadows are making it dark. No problem if you can't stay inside the orb. The point is to make it orb-like. If you're ready, we can proceed to the next step. This is the tutorial's essence. But before we start that, let's talk over the types of edges, so we will be able to work with them reasonably. Hard edges, the meeting of two different tones, they are not mixed at all, our meeting line is hard, as the name suggests. Most of the time this stands for two different subjects meeting. Soft edges, two different tones meeting, when values are a little bit mixed, blurred, but you can define where one tone ends and where the next one begins. We use this a lot, especially if we want to leave our painting a little bit raw, but we use these edges in other cases too. And when soft edges are blurred totally, we don't speak about edges anymore. We call them non-edges. We will work on our hard edges to make them more soft where it should be. Let's choose a brush for our taste. But pay attention to be that hard-edged brush, not soft. It gives us a more natural, stronger look in the end. The method here is simple. Pick a color with all the button on the edge of two different tones, or what else you have to use to pick a color, and then pushing gently your pen start to blend. Take another sample, but maybe from somewhere else and do the same as before. Now, our tones are even softer, but we can make it better.
Zoom in so we can see what are we doing. Pick another color sample from those tones and let's do it more softer. If the pith color is not good for painting, choose another one. We can repeat it until we reach the wanted result. Sometimes just zoom out a little bit to see the result in preview size. It may seem to be niggling, but that's not the truth. When we have its taste, we will automate the process, we easily pick the right color for painting, we won't even notice. Let's take a look at the result. I feel like something is missing, so I use the other color just to give it some life and I paint in it gently and may work on it more. If the color is too harsh, I just paint over a little bit with surrounding colors. In the last step, I make sure that shadows are correct and make some changes if something is off with the shape. After we need just some highlights, textures. I am not going into this part too much because this tutorial is about something else and texturing something would be another subject. So now I just give some taste, nothing more. I suggest practice this a lot, making simple shapes and try different brushes too, add some extreme colors or try this thing on an already started project. If you have more hints about what kind of videos would you prefer, I wait for your suggestions in the comment section. I'd love to make the best ideas to happen. Also, you can ask about this video, so I may build the answer into a more serious video. Don't forget to subscribe on my channel to have more content and share this video if you liked it. Thanks for your attention, goodbye!